Hello everybody, this is Matador again from FreeTradingVideos.com. It's 12.05 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, still Wednesday, October 14th. And we had pretty good earnings from Intel and JP Morgan. Uh, big gap up. Retail sales were down 1.5%, but uh, still better than expected. So beautiful gap up. Uh, Pre-market, it ran up to the 109 mark, almost to the penny. If I show you that real quick, it tells a kind of a nice story. Let me do that. Scrunch this up without looking at that. <laughs> so here's the 109 mark right there to the penny. Had a little bit of a consolidation then a sell-off right at the open, trying to fill that gap, right? But holding up beautifully at the 200 MA. All right, so that's pre and post market data, good run up. So again, if I remove that data, let me do that real quick. You can see now that we are holding up beautifully. And if I take a retracement and draw that in, all right, so we are holding up at a 38% retrace. If I grab that information and put a line there, I can now remove all of this. You gotta love infrastructure. Just kind of want to clean that up. Nice 38% retrace right in this area. So if we hold that, and that would be a high base uh, in this area, that would be a beautifully unfilled gap with support remaining in this area, and that would lend credibility to the fact that we might be able to hold up uh, even in the face of uh, our overhead resistance on a longer time frame. So after a beautiful run up, just one day of consolidation after a doji and a resistance, gapping up, unfilled gap, a lot of bullish sentiment there, and now we're pressing on a weekly chart up into this area of resistance we mentioned yesterday, which is the 110 mark, uh, first hitting the 109. So if we chew our way through this or consolidate anywhere in this area, that'd be very bullish for the market, and that's what I'll be watching. Let's look at how the uh, market internals are going. So nice gap down, unfilled gap, all right, corroborating our move, and now we're moving lower, which is great. Had just a slight little uh, spike here. Last few prints of the this three-minute chart, but still holding down beautifully. The trend, 0.52, and the trend to uh, trend Q is a 0.66, so those are corroborating, albeit uh, spiking up here just gently around noon. Uh, the tick, has spent about equal amount of time above and below the zero line. And uh, the bank index, nice gap up, filled a little bit further than a 38% retrace, and now is running back up into an area of resistance in this mark. So support, support, it's broken significantly, and then that's our resistance. So it's following the rules, just a little bit weaker, and uh, that's what I see in the market. So beautiful consolidation. Be careful of breakouts, of course, on longer time frames. And uh, one more thing to note about the VIX is on a very large time frame, we just finally broke again and tested the 200 MA. So that's pretty a good thing for the bullish side of the market. We've also broken below a support line that we had drawn in at the 23 mark uh, yet again. So a few tests of that. And now if we closed right now, we would actually close below that. So something to watch out for. Good stuff. Well, nice working with you so far this week, and D7 will be with you at the close for a nice report. Talk to you soon.